Okay, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Naviance workshop. Justin Pruitt will be leading you through Naviance. All right, I got my timer set. I'm ready to go. You guys can see my screen there. So this is the Naviance homepage. To get here, it's, it's a really simple process. Um, I'm going to show you this folder that I've shared. You should have access to it through the, um, the website that you registered on. But ultimately, to get into your Navient student account, you're going to go through your Google Waffle here. So you're going to click on that little icon there. That's your Google Waffle. And then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to click the Navient uh, button right here. So that'll launch your student portal. And it'll take you to a place that looks like this. It might ask you to confirm your student Gmail account. You don't have to log back in, but it should, as long as you're logged into your Chrome browser and you click that, it should launch you right into the Naviance um, page. Yours will look very similar to this. And so the whole goal of this is just uh, for you guys to understand, I'm not gonna have enough time to go over a ton of specifics, but I want you to understand the tools that are in here and uh, recognize that you can use this any day, any time that you want to, you can access it from home, um, it's completely a tool for you guys to use as students to learn things about yourself, to learn things about colleges and careers. Um, and there's some cool tools in there to help you do it. So you guys have grown up with the internet your entire life, so you should know how to access stuff um, on web pages. But it, when you land here on this homepage, you'll see up at the top, they have self-discovery courses, careers, college, and planner. We're going to start with the self-discovery. So when you come here and you click self-discovery home, it's going to take you to this page and it's going to have different assessments for you to take. Each assessment does something different. It gives you a little description and it tells you kind of what that assessment's for. But if you aren't too sure, you can just click on it, start assessment, and it's going to give you more information. So it says this one's about 15 minutes to take. There's no right or wrong answers. Um, it's going to ask you unique questions on how you would behave in certain scenarios. And based on those certain scenarios, it's going to give you different types of career uh, paths that you might be interested in based on how you answer those questions. So if you answered that you, on some of those scenarios that like you don't like interacting with people, then it's not gonna give you a, um, a human services pathway probably. It's probably gonna align you more towards careers where you work independently. Um, if you say you hate being indoors, it's probably not gonna give you a desk career, it would look more at like outdoor careers and things like that. And you can use that just to get um, a better understanding or to help get you started. There's a number of these different um, assessments, depending on what grade level you're in, uh, will determine which ones are, are available for you to see. But you can click on like the career cluster finder and it's going to ask you questions about careers and it's going to find you different career paths or clusters. So those are like big general areas um, that you might be interested in based on the way you answered those questions. It's not saying that like this is the job that you have to do for the rest of your life. What it's doing is it's pointing you in the right direction if you're really not sure. So these are cool assessments that you can take. You can take them all multiple times, except for I think Strength Explorer, you can only take once, but all the other ones you can take it one time. Um, you can take it again. But ultimately, it's really important that you're just honest in, um, about how you answer those questions because the results it gives you are based on how you answered the questions. So if you're pretending to be somebody you're not or saying you like things you don't like, it's going to give you results that are based on those answers. So just be honest when you do those. And then um, that can help guide you towards different uh, careers that you might be interested in or different pathways. Another way to explore without the self-discovery is just to jump right into this careers. Uh, tab at the top, you click that, and you can just go straight to explore careers, explore clusters. And then there's another thing in here, um, Road Trip Nation. These are just short videos that are from people within industries that have jobs talking about how they discover their path to their job. They're usually short videos. You can come in here and you can sort by interest, you can sort by themes, you can sort by the actual individuals. Um, you might not know who some of these people are. Like looking at this, I don't know who these people are. But um, if I was interested in um, like certain themes, I can sort by theme. So if I was interested in the arts, there's 94 different videos about like this guy's a 3D animator. And so he just talks a little bit about his journey to becoming a 3D animator. So that's a cool feature within the careers tab. Um, you can explore clusters and pathways, and these are more broad. So you can see these aren't specific jobs, but rather they're areas of jobs. 
So if I was interested in hospitality and tourism, so that's like think of working at hotels, resorts, travel, vacation type things. I can click on that and it's going to show me um, different pathways. So travel and tourism, lodging, restaurant and food and beverage services, um, recreation, amusement and attractions. So if we just look at um, travel and tourism, I can start to refine it. And by refining it, I can look at um, related occupations. So this will be more specific. And so let's say I wanted to um, explore being a travel agent. I could click on that and it would show me that. If I wanted to look at being a lodging manager, so it's like hotel managers, you can see they make pretty good money. I can click on that and it's gonna show me more information about that specific career. It's gonna show me what they do. It's gonna show me different wages. And let's say I like this and it's like, okay, this is cool. This is something I wanna explore. I can click favorites and it's gonna remember it because it's tied to me as a student or you as a student. And so it'll remember the things that you favorite and like. So the next time you log in, you can come to your careers and you click on the favorites and it's gonna show you things that you already had said you were interested in and you can explore them a little bit deeper. It shows you the different wages across the country for what these people make. And remember that the high end is usually close to 80,000 and the low end is 34,000. A lot of those things depend on cost of living in that area and how long the person's been in that role or their level of education. You'll find that um, the, the earnings go up the more experience you have in a field and the more education you have in a field. Those are the people that tend to make more money um, on the low end of earning are usually people who are new to a career or they don't have much education in a career. It's gonna tell you more about uh, the traits of people who like this type of work. And then it's gonna show you related majors. And this is really cool. So we started with a broad thing of travel and tourism. We narrowed it down by looking at a specific job and now I can find um, related majors. So I can click on these different things, hotel, motel administration and management, hospitality administration and management, and it's gonna show me schools, colleges that have this as a major available. And you'll see there's a bunch of them. There's 424 colleges and universities across the country that have this major for hospitality management. I can use this page I'm on right here and I can refine the location. So let's say I only, I don't wanna leave California. I can click California. I can view my matches and I'm gonna see now there's 31 colleges or universities within California that have a hotel or um, travel type major available um, available there. I can continue to look. Um, I can click the type and I can say I only want ones that are four years and I can view my matches. Now I'm down to 13 places that offer bachelor's degree related to hospitality, hotel and travel. So I see San Diego State University's on here. That's a, a great school and a great town. So I can click on that and now it's gonna take me to that college's page. Let's say, all right, I don't wanna to go too deep on this right now, but I wanna remember that San Diego State has my major. I can favorite it and now it's gonna remember uh, that it was favorited there. If I know a specific career, I can come back into here and I can say, you know what, I know I wanna be a, um, I, so I like graphic design. Like I like seeing album covers, movie posters, um, sports jerseys, you're seeing like more and more NBA and NFL college jerseys, baseball jerseys are coming out with new designs. They did the whole Nike City Connect. Someone designed that. That's someone's job. So those are graphic designers. So I want to look at graphic design. So I'm going to type that in and I'm going to search it. And then it shows me, okay, here's graphic designers. If I click on that, it's going to give me more information like we saw with the, um, the previous career. And I can scroll down and I'm like, all right, this is cool. I like this. I'm going to favorite it. And it's going to remember it. So the next time I log in, I can go to my careers. I can go to my favorites and it'll be there. And I'll show you that in just a second. But again, all the same information. It shows what these people who do this career are usually interested in. They're usually artistic. Um, they're realistic and they're enterprising. I can look at related majors again. So if I can click on graphic design, now I can see all my schools. And it's remembering from last time. So it has California only and it only has bachelor's degrees. So here are the universities in the state of California that offer um, a bachelor's degree in graphic design. And now I can go into these and I can look at those a little bit more. Next time I log in, 
I come back to my careers and favorites, and you can see all the things that I've said I've favorited. So I have a pathway that I favorited, um, engineering and technology. I have careers that I've favorited, and I can always click on those, and it'll take me back to that, and I can explore that further. I can try and um, connect that to more colleges. So let's say if we don't want to explore the careers, right? We, we have an opportunity to learn about ourselves that can help us see careers and pathways. We can go straight into careers and pathways. Or let's say we already know uh, what colleges we want to look at, what we're interested in. You can just click on colleges right here. And there's a couple different options for find your fit here on the left. These are all going to ask you questions or you're going to be able to sort down the schools that it shows you based on information that you put in. I really like the super match because it gives you an opportunity to create a criteria um, and then it'll return a list of colleges that fit that criteria. So you can start here and you can just work your way through of things that are important to you. So for me, the location, um, I like the West Coast, I like the weather, so that's important to me. Let's say I wanna be in a large city. Um, if I look at the academics, I want a bachelor's degree. Um, I can look at majors. So let's just say um, accounting and finance. Um, if I look at admissions, I have a GPA entered in here of 3.3. Um, you can enter your GPA, you can leave it blank, it's up to you. I can look at student life and say, I want them to have sororities and fraternities or I don't want them to have these things. Um, I can look at the diversity of the student body that attends that school. So, um, if I want to search by religious affiliation, like if I want to go to a um, like a Catholic school or a Christian college, I can search by that. Um, I can I can refine this criteria, but right now, based on my three criteria, it's showing me nine institutions that meet my match. So these are the University of Mexico main campus, San Francisco State University. So this means that they fit my criteria. So they fit my location criteria. They're in a larger city and they have the major I want. I can remove any of these criteria, and it's gonna expand the colleges and universities it shows me. So one thing I can do is I can just come in here and I can start to favorite these knowing that they kind of fit my criteria. If it's returned too many results, nine isn't bad. Sometimes if your criteria is too wide, it's gonna return like a hundred results. You can refine it to look more for what it is that, that you want. I would encourage you to not worry too much about the tuition and fees because that is so independently driven by your financial situation. So one way I've always talked to students about exploring colleges, the, co the cost of the college always have that be your last determining factor because you're really not going to know what it's actually going to cost you to attend until after you've done your FAFSA, after you have received grants and scholarships, and all that information. So, so start without thinking and worrying about the tuition and fees. Once you have decided you want to apply and you've actually got in, that's when you start looking at the financial decision. But don't have that be a driver because so many schools have so many opportunities for free money for college that if you can get into that school, chances are they're going to help make it fairly affordable. Um, for example, like if you can get into Harvard, if you can get accepted at Harvard, I want to say something like 85% of their students pay no tuition. They go to Harvard for free. Getting in is really, really challenging. But if you just looked at the cost of it, you would say, that is way too expensive. I'm not even going to apply. Don't worry about the cost until you've actually applied and gotten into the school. And then you can start to look at that. So I can scroll down and I can continue to look at this list of schools that meet that criteria. And that's the super match. And super match is really... Um, uh, it creates a custom list of students based on what you tell it. You can keep going and keep um, adding criteria. So if I want to add a sport that I know I wanted to have, like let's say I wanted to have men's, I'm a baseball guy. So I do baseball um, and I want to add it. Now it's going to show me schools that meet that criteria. So now it's four. So there were five schools that were in my list before that don't have sports. And so I've removed those because I might say I want to make sure I can go and play baseball. So you can continue to do that. Within the Colleges tab, there's also um, Advanced College Search, where it's very similar to the College Match. It's just kind of a different way. You can answer all these questions, and it's going to refine a list, and it's going to show you those colleges um, that meet that, those requirements. Let's say I already know the name of a college. I can just come here to, to look up, and I can do it by the name. 
And now here it's going to give me all A through Zs. But let's say I know that I'm looking for um, a certain school, McAllister College. We have a friend whose son is going there right now in Minnesota. Um, I didn't even remember that it was a college. There's so many, but it's a great school in St. Paul. He plays sports there. So I can come and I can learn about that. Graduation rate is really high. When I'm on this page, I can learn a bunch. I can take a virtual tour. I can communicate with them. I can just request information. So I'll just request information. And then um, it's going to take me to their web page. And I can um, ask them to send me information about it. But I can do all of that from on this page right here. It tells me their deadline to apply. So much more information about the school, their different majors, top areas of study. I can search this, this school by different majors. Um, I can continue to use these top tabs. It shows me that 60% of their students live on campus. So it's really cool. And if I like this, I favored it. And now it's saved forever. So the next time I come into Navient, I'm like, all right, I want to look at those colleges again. I can just click right here, colleges I'm thinking about, or I can use this top tab and I can go to colleges I'm thinking about. And you can see the list of the schools that I've shown interest in. And now I can access those schools easily and I can look and, and learn more about it. An additional tool I want to share with you guys is um, scholarships. So within the colleges, if I come over here, I can have a scholarship list or a national scholarship. If I want to see local scholarships in the Antelope Valley, I can click here. I can click local regional scholarships, and it's going to show me some local college scholarships. I can also come here to the national scholarship search, and it's going to actually export me out to another website that has a bigger database of national scholarships. Um, and that's why it's not loading right now. Um, so that's an option in there to explore scholarships. Another cool thing in here that is useful is if I come over here to the About Me tab, I can click on the resume button and it has a template that helps me guide and build a resume. So it says, we noticed you haven't created a resume yet. To get started, select the plus button. So I click the plus button and now I can add my different things I want. So if I want an objective and I wanna add my education and I wanna add my extracurriculars, I can custom build and let's say my athletic achievements. And then I want to add in references. Now I can come in and I can fill all of this area out, fill in all this information. And at the end, once it's all filled, I can hit print or export resume and then I can print it or I can export it to a Word document or a PDF. And then I have a, a digital copy of my resume. But I know that building resumes can sometimes feel daunting. And uh, like, I don't know how to format it. I don't know what to do. This will help guide you through that. And then it's going to save it. So you can come in and update stuff. So that's another really cool feature. If there's one thing I want you guys to take away from this, it's that this is your tool to use. You're not going to break anything. You're not going to do anything that can't be undone. Really get in there, explore yourself, explore colleges and careers. Um, just look around, click on buttons. Uh, you know, be curious when you're in here. If you have downtime in class, instead of going on Instagram or TikTok, feel free to hop into Navient. It's real easy to access through your Google Waffle. Um, go down, find the Navient button, click it, and it's going to launch your profile where you've saved things and you started to build um, kind of your profile. So I think my time is just about up. We do have a Q&A thing if you have any questions. Um, your school counselors all know about this. So if you ever have any questions, you can ask your school counselors about it too. And they can help guide you um, through navigating some of this stuff as well. But again, you're not going to break it. Just explore it and have a good time with it. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you.